The Bedford County Sheriff's Office wanted potential criminals to know they see them. And that's why nearly 30 deputies, troopers, and ABC agents made their presence known last weekend. And WSLS 10's Angela Hatcher is live outside the Sheriff's Office tonight with more. She just, in fact, got the results of that effort last weekend. So, Angela, we're talking about a place that people don't expect this sort of activity. Absolutely not, John, and that is what got my attention on this one and made me want to ask a few questions. This checkpoint was set up at the entrance of the Lake Vista neighborhood in Forest. It's a nice neighborhood. It's a quiet neighborhood, not somewhere you would expect to hear gunshots, but that's exactly what deputies say they heard last Friday night after they saw uh, items in cars outside a restaurant in plain view, drug paraphernalia and the like. And they did not want that trouble to go any farther. Two Bedford County deputies had a car stopped at the intersection of Graves Mill and Vista Center Drive Friday night. While they were out talking to the people that was in the car, uh, they heard five gunshots ring out from the restaurant. Major Ricky Gardner tells us there were so many people running to their cars outside the Hills restaurant, those deputies had trouble getting through the crowd. Once they were able to get on the parking lot, they found five nine millimeter cartridge casings near the front door laying in the parking lot on the sidewalk. The major says a DJ from Atlanta had attracted party goers from as nearby as Lynchburg and as far away as Roanoke, Danville and Greensboro. That same DJ was scheduled to spin there again the next night. The sheriff's office thought same crowd, same problems and the potential for retaliation. Friday night prior to the, the gunshots, uh, they did see several uh, individuals in the parking lot flashing gang signs and having um, clothing on that indicated that they were possibly members of, of, uh, of gangs, uh, which again disturbed us immensely. Enough to set up a checkpoint Saturday, netting seven drug arrests in just four hours. The sheriff's office sees three nine millimeter handguns no one wanted to claim. The crowd size that night was a tenth of what it was the night before, according to the sheriff's office. After word got out on social media, the cops were there. Gardner does not know if those people stayed home or kept on to somewhere else, but they don't want the trouble here. Now, the sheriff's office says it does understand the restaurant. They want to make a decent living. The restaurant owner and manager, they've actually been here to the sheriff's office uh, to talk with them about moving forward and how to make sure that that is a safe environment out there. And the sheriff's office was also very upfront with the neighbors there in Lake Vista who were getting stopped at that checkpoint about why they were there, what was going on, and they even sent an alert to folks living in that neighborhood with the results of that checkpoint. And if you want to get alerts, if you live in Bedford County for anything that might be going on in your neighborhood, you are reminded that you can do that. All you have to do is go to the sheriff's office website and sign up for the Bedford Alert system, and they'll send those to your home phone or your cell phone. We are live in Bedford County. Angela Hatcher, WSLS 10.